I made a video about this Peter Pan toy in the past and it never did fly. I've dated the model around about the year 2000, this being a, a NICAD or possibly nickel metal hydride pack and a 40 megahertz transmitter, but it's not proportional. Basically it's on or off, uh, which meant the thing was pretty much uncontrollable. I feel really sorry because it's priced at 49.95 euros and Spain adopted the euro in 1999, so that date ties in as well. If anybody had bought it for their kid, as it says again here, Avion RC Initiation, which means a beginner's plane, I think they would have been severely disappointed. This one I bought as new old stock, so it was never, never sold to anybody. Anyway, all that aside, I'm still going to persevere and see if I can get this thing to fly, although not in its original configuration. The idea of the tail rotor for the rotational control is a complete nightmare and a, a no-no for various reasons, but there is a reason, I guess, that uh, no other model I have ever seen or either a full-size plane has ever used a tail rotor for rotational control, and I think we found out why. However, there are some redeeming aspects to it. I was surprised when I took it apart to find a carbon rod, and that would explain why I haven't managed to break the fuselage yet. I separated the fuselage, it didn't end up like this in a crash. But some of the redeeming features are, they appear to have paid some attention to the EDF. This part here is sculpted, uh, it's rounded off on the lip there. You can see how the airflow is directed up into the fan and the reduction there at the exhaust all things that you would expect to see in an EDF, not just a basic tube. The receiver brick, again, very, very basic, just the motor controls and the two wires that would go back to control the little tail rotor. But this is all, all history. It may have stood some chance of flying had it had a proportional control where you could control the throttle and the tail rotor, but that was simply not to be, so that's all scrap. I think for the beginning I won't go brushless. This little brushed EDF, once I'd put a decent battery in it, uh, certainly gave it plenty of thrust, although it was uncontrollable thrust. There we have it then. I've got my thinking cap on as to what we can do. I think we definitely need an elevator and we definitely need ailerons of some form. Let's see what I can cobble together. My progress so far then, this was the battery pack that I was using. For the main motor, I managed to find in my old spares box this little Jetty 5 amp speed controller, which should do the job. And our connector on there, I've tested that, that's all working, going the right way. On the other end, for the tail rotor, I managed to find this little bi-directional brushed motor speed controller. And here we can just about see the very fine wires that connect that to the motor at the back there. What I've also done is to fashion myself an elevator of sorts. That will be controlled by the smallest server I could find, which I think is 1.7 grams, and that will have to sit at the back. It has a strange JST connector on it at the moment. have to change that. Clearly I need to extend that cable as well, and it's very fine. I only have standard sort of servo cable, which that would really be too big. What I did manage to find is this old headphone cable, which has three conductors in it. That will have to do. I guess I could strip it out of the casing, but I think I can form a little channel in there to pass that along. So that solves that problem. For the moment, I'm not going to bother with ailerons. It's going to be rudder and elevator, effectively, with the tail rotor. I'll get on now then and try and get all of this into place. Then we'll see where we go from there. Just showing you now, before I glue it all together, the final arrangement, as it were. We can see the speed controller for the rotor, and here's the cable for the elevator. 
and the speed controller which has a built-in BEC for the main EDF. In a departure from my normal fandom for ELRS, I've gone with this Flysky FS2 4-channel receiver which is also tiny, weighs less than a gram and regular viewers will know that I'm a great fan of the little Radio Master Pocket. All I had to do, as it's the ELS version, is to pop this iRange X module light in the back there and bound to the receiver with no problems. Obviously with the multi-protocol module that opens up a whole world being able to bind to practically any of the Chinese type models. Let's power it up and show you the controls then. You can see there the receiver is bound. There we can see my elevator functions and the uh, steering via the rotor. Main motor then. That's got plenty of oomph. All that remains then is for me to glue the two halves back together, make sure that everything is insulated from itself. This has got heat shrink supplied with the receiver. So I just put that on. We'll see if the thing flies. Just before we start then, of course, we have to sprinkle some magic pixie dust. Oh, very hard what do we think then, gentlemen? Yeah. Can it's Peter Pan happening. fly? Yes, yes. I've yes. sprinkled well, the magic pixie dust. <laughs> I, I like that bit on the back. The bit on the back, yeah, yes. You, know, the... you haven't um, seen this creation before, have you? No, I was it a looks interesting, like that. It's steering by rotor. Steering by rotor. Theoretically. <laughs> well, we'll go one way by rotor. Yeah. Throttle <laughs> active. <laughs> I think we'll go full tilt, shall we? Okay. Nice. Well, the steering is interesting. <laughs> there she is then, Pixie Flies. Peter Pan. Well, who'd have thought that the uh, rotor steering would actually steer? That's about half throttle. Don't know how long the battery's going to last. Not very long, I shouldn't think. This little brush EDF. And there she is. So, never dismiss one of these old models with a little bit of work. Uh, well, the wind's coming from behind me, so it's a, a bit of... I'll go from right to left. Okay. Okay. Well, we're getting a reasonable flight time. As I said, that's only half throttle. And at that point, I think we'll All it today. I've had a lot of fun with it, modifying it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. 
Let's see if we can. See if we can get it down in one piece. Well, she's done on. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of landing. There we are then, with sufficient pixie dust, the thing can fly, which I guess means anything can fly. Thanks for watching.